My name is Sean Evans. I'm an emergency physician and I've been practicing here in San Diego for 26 years and I'm the director of resuscitation here at a tertiary care facility. Fortunately, we see a lot of head injuries and despite the popularity of the sport and the awareness of concussions, there are just too many things working against the young adults today, mainly in the helmet science. We're still making helmets and putting them on the field that are too large, too heavy, and too ill-equipped for those young shoulders, young neck, and ultimately that young brain. Do you Traditional advances have been to build a helmet that performs for a test that doesn't replicate the energy impact on the field. Not only is the LS2 and the light products state-of-the-art from a mechanical engineering and from a physics perspective, it wasn't designed for the test that it performed so superiorly with. It was designed for comfort and it was designed for its ability to protect the head and neck during sports competition. So in summary, when you double a helmet weight, ultimately you're doubling part of that motion energy and the impact on the brain and the skull, as well as in the neck. So the lighter the helmet and the better the crumple zone, ultimately, the better you're going to do when it comes to injury prevention on the field.